Hi, my name is Manali and I work in customer support for BMC MyIT. This video is going to give you an overview of how to configure business service in service request definition. You can add a service CI directly into SRD which will automatically be submitted when the service request is submitted. You can select a CI for SRD and you can pass the service as a user's response to backend application entry. To select a CI for an SRD, open your SRD and click on the search button next to service field. Select the CI and click on save. To pass the service as a user's response to backend application, expose the business service in case of a work order or service CI in case of an incident and change in your AOT. Expose the CI reckon ID, define variables in the PDT, create a query menu which is based on the BMC core BMC business service form, select name and the display label for reconciliation identity and actual value. Map the service CI as a user displayed response and CI recon ID as an internally represented response. This is the Atrium core console where you are able to see the services. This is the service request definition form. In service catalog information, you can select the service, service offering and offering type. When the incident is submitted using this SRD, in services field, the service you have selected is automatically reflect. The offering type are delivery and transactional. User can pay activation fee only for once for the delivery and you can have only one delivery SRD for each service offering while the transactional one is the SRD used to make many other requests and when you can have multiple transactional SRD for each service offering. For example, this is the AOT where we have selected incident management and field for answer service CI and service CI recon ID. We have created a PDT and mapped those two variables. We have created a menu on PMC core business service form and the display label is name and actual value is reconciliation identity. In the variable mapping, we have selected field service CI and CI reconciliation identity. When user will open this service request to submit, they have to select the service and when the incident is created in the backend, the specified service is automatically attached to the incident. Now let's take a look on how we can do this. Log in to your ITSM and create new service request definition. In the definition tab in service catalog information, click on search. This will open up your atrium service catalog. Select the service, verify the service, click on search, search for the service, select the service, select the service offering, offering type and save the SRD. Submit the service request from request entry console. This is the incident which would be created in the backend. As you can see, the incident have link service associated over here. In other use case, go to application administration console, service request management, application configuration and open AOT. Enter name, summary and app registry name as incident management and expose service CI and service CI recon ID field and save the AOT. Associate this AOT in your PDT and define two variables, one for service CI and one for CI recon ID and map them. Create new service request definition and select this PDT. Here create new menu question for BMC core BMC business service form and select display label as name and actual value as reconciliation identity. From variable mapping, map service CI to user displayed response and CI recon ID to internally represented response and deploy the SRD. Now log in as your new user and click on the request now, select the service and submit the service request and the incident will have service associated to it. That's all in this session for right now. Thank you for watching.